Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, can't really complain too much about temperatures hovering near freezing this time of the night. You know, it is early February, right? We're still in the dead of winter, so it could be a whole lot colder out there for many of us. But you know what? We've got a nice weekend coming our way. Enjoy it because we've got a nice, nasty reminder that February is still the middle of winter coming up next week. And yes, that includes the potential for even a little bit of snow. There's a live look outside tonight. Not a bad night once again. You know, compared to 24 hours ago, while it's not a big jump, in temperatures. They are about 5 to 10 degrees warmer for many of us, so we continue to move in the right direction heading into the weekend. Here we are outside tonight, 32 degrees right now at the airport. We do our, have ourselves a north breeze at 10. Most areas are generally hovering around the freezing mark, give or take a couple of degrees there, depending upon your location. It's 32 in Mason, 31 Hamilton, 28 in Harrison right now. Same story down there around Beebe, 29 in Maysville, and 30 currently around Peebles. Temperatures well, they're only going to fall about another 5 to 8 degrees tonight. Most areas will end up between about 25 and 30 for overnight lows, thanks to some clouds and a little bit of a breeze overnight tonight. And then what a nice looking Saturday. You really can't complain about mid 40s and lots of sunshine here in early February. Remember, it could be a whole lot worse. And not to mention, these highs in the 40s by this time next week will be about 20 degrees colder. So enjoy again the weekend. High pressure weather, good guy passing right over the Ohio and Tennessee valleys. Got a little bit in the way of cloud cover out there. That will come and go over the weekend, but all in all, it's going to be very quiet and very nice for this time of the year. So here's a look at Futurecast. Not much to show you tomorrow for your Saturday other than plenty of sunshine. Even Sunday looks nice, although clouds will increase late Sunday afternoon. There will be some rain that arrives late Sunday night. So as you're coming home from the Super Bowl parties Sunday night, there may be some showers out there, but this will basically signal the arrival of of much colder air for early next week. So we may start with some showers on Monday, but as colder air continues to fill into the Ohio Valley, that will probably go over to some flurry and snow shower activity, and that will likely continue through at least the middle of the week. While I don't see any big storms in the forecast, I can't rule out some light accumulations next week of snow across the area. So over the weekend, a little bit of a reprieve from the cold. The jet stream lifts up out of here. We get some milder air in here. A matter of fact, we're likely to make it into the low 50s on Sunday, and then a big dip in the jet develops early next week. A matter of fact, it goes all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico with temperatures hitting near freezing all the way down in the parts of Florida, so you know it is going to be pretty cold around here if they're talking that type of weather in the deep south. So 26 for a low tonight underneath just a few clouds. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, nice and mild, 46 for an afternoon high. Here's your day planner, 28 at 8 a.m., 40 by lunchtime, and then into the low to mid-40s by afternoon. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. All right, Sunday's the warmest day as we peak out at 51. There's your rain Sunday night. And then temperatures basically just tumble heading into next week. Look at that. Overnight lows by Wednesday night, Thursday morning, 12. So get ready. Winter is not over yet. All right, Kevin, thank you. That's it.